Good morning, day five here in Orlando. Can't quite believe it, to be honest. It just whizzes by. It just goes by so quick and I am enjoying every moment of it, I'll be honest. And today is just another big, big item. I say item because it's like a list to me sometimes, but it's something I want to do. Something I've always wanted to do since the first time I've been here and the first time I've heard of it. And I am going to Gatorland. Not quite of a surprise because it's in the title of the video, I know. But yeah, I'm going to Gatorland and it looks awesome. The weather's not great. I don't know how much of it is outside. So I'm hoping I can get a good experience, a good day of it. This is the only time I'm going to get to go on this trip. I can always go again, but I don't want to think like that. I want to go, have a good day, and enjoy it. So, I've got my new t-shirt on that I got yesterday, if you've seen yesterday's video. Got it there, 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 there. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go check out, check out, I keep saying check out, I'm not checking out. Get out of the hotel room, in the hotel. I'm using Lyft again, the ride chair app. So, I'll give you an idea of the price for that once I'm out of the hotel and down the lobby. I'm not going by Starbucks and all that stuff. I'm just going to go straight to the lobby, get a lift and get in there because it's, I think it's about half an hour, something like 25 minutes maybe drive to, to get there. So I'm going to get there. It opens at 11 a.m. and I just want to get there. Not early but there thereabouts on time just to enjoy the full day of it because I think it closes at 5 p.m. So. Maybe they're all day, who knows. Let's go and have some fun. Gators, alligators. Mm. Let's go. So weather check, as you can see, very, very grey. Not a lot of blue skies. It will still be warm, but I don't know how long it's going to last in regards to holding up. Before the rain starts coming down. So as I said, hopefully it's the Get land is indoors and outside, but I'm guessing it's going to be a lot of outdoor stuff. But anyway, let's get going on this adventure to Gatorland. It's dry, but it's not as warm as it's been the last couple of days, so don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. But hey, doesn't matter with the weather. No cues. For the buses for Universal and the Leaf Floor guy is back. Right, here we go. Lift, $17, oh, $18, let's say. Let's book it. That's where I am. Pick up the now. I'm going to get there that time. And there's my pickup. So let's go to Gatorland. Here we go, he's arrived. So I've made it to Gatorland. So good to be here, so cool. Got to look at the photo up in a minute as, minute as well. Which is the big gator mouth over there. And then get in the queue. I have already pre-purchased my ticket. No, I'll go through that once I'm in. Right, time to go in. Alright, so right now we're right here at 1. The train's gonna be right here at 30. That's what the bands are for, so you guys can ride the train, or just you, I guess. You can ride the train whenever you want. The Gator food, you can pick that up over here at G with the cards, whatever you want. There's no specific time to do either the train or the Gator food, just whatever you want. Cool. And then after that, over here at l &M, that's our Legends of the Swamp show. This right. show is gonna start at 12.45. Thanks so much, thank you. So let's go in to Gatorland. Looks very swampy already. <laughs> this is amazing. Look at the hole. All the alligators are waking up. 
looking up. They're massive. Any baby one over there? I think there's a Halloween theme going on here. You can't see why, why, why I mean by that yet, but. at 10.45 so I'm going to watch that first jump around that makes me scared let's go how's everyone doing today? awesome love the energy so listen you guys are in the right spot for the show I'm just waiting on two guys and meanwhile I decided to come out here and just give you all the safety announcements real quick uh, so if you guys could please keep all kids off your shoulders and off this wooden railing in front of you it's feeding time for these alligators, and they don't know the difference between chicken and children. He's okay, but I need reason. You see, behind me I got two of the bravest or the dumbest guys I could find, and uh, they're here to compete for a job here at the park. And that being said, are you guys ready to meet them? Yeah. Right about half of you guys, not bad, but listen, for the rest of you guys, let me let you on a little secret. For the past 70 years, these alligators have been conditioned to jump and move with your noise. So basically what that means is that the louder you are, the more action you'll see. So I'll ask you one more time, are ready to meet these two guys? There we go, much better. So on my left hand side, all the way from the city of St. Cloud, Florida, give it up for Bubba! And on my right hand side, also from the city of St. Cloud, give it up for Kuda! You fall in, he gets the job. No, no one's gonna fall in today, okay? Alright, this is your team, you gotta give them a word to get these alligators to jump. Jump! No! No, you can't use jump, that's Bubba's word, you gotta pick a different word. Mayonnaise! Mayonnaise! No, no! No, no! Stop, that's weird, man! What do you, what do you mean? What, why would you want the deal? Mayonnaise and alligators! Mayonnaise and big old gators! <laughs> Alright, listen. This isn't Cooter's comedy hour, man. Take this seriously. Think of like an action word, man. Let me use jump. Are you guys ready? No! Alright, on the count of three, get it started. Ready? One, two, three!
You guys have died down. You guys are going to see jumps for silent. Keep it up. Yo, jump. Yo, go. There we go. That was really cool. Jumping alligators. And really funny as well. I'm going for a walk and see what there is. I'm interested in this swamp buggy. Maybe get that out of the way first before it gets busy. There's also a train ride here. In fact, there's a train sitting there just now. It looks pretty full. So we'll get that later on. I've got access all day to the train so I can get that later on. That'll be the zip line there, all the way up there. See it? So the swamp buggy, I think, is a separate ticket. So I have just bought the off-road buggy and it leaves about four minutes. So we're going to go in that first. Well, don't know what to expect. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
That was so much fun. Really entertaining as well. So cool. I am now entering the world of shoes, jungle crocs of the world. Just to have a little walk around. I'd recommend getting in there. I mean, that was quarter past 11. I think that was the first one. Get it done, get out of the way, and then spend the rest of the day going to see some shows and stuff. So let's go and have a walk around here. Well, I can see one right here. I don't know if it's yawning. It's got its mouth opened. I <laughs> don't know if that's a good thing or a, a bad thing. Hello. Is that real? It's not moving. Must be real. Surely. Oh, it's real. I don't know why I questioned that. It is very, very quiet. Down here. That's a Cuban crocodile. Meet our jumping, jumping. That's a little fence. Jumping. Right, okay. Closest living critter to Jurassic Park's Velociraptor. Okay, I'm away. Velociraptors? Seriously? If you don't watch the films, there's one in the water there as well. Right. Where do I go from here? I think I need to go back the way. That's the zip line thing. Yeah, that's the zip line exit. I'm going to go back this way. Look at all these alligators. I don't know if you can quite see over the fence, but there is lots and lots and lots. Wow, that one's on the move. There's one just chilling in the water. <laughs> don't know if that's a bug doing that or if it's a person. A person. Someone knows their stuff about those birds. It's really cool. Yeah, I can see something here. Oh, that's there. Look at this. It's right there. Don't know if you can see it. I'm not going to stick my camera through that, Ian. What are you thinking? I don't know if you can see through the fence there, but look at the size of that. I was going to put the camera through there and look down and I just remembered the jumping, jumping alligators. Let's not be doing that. I think you can actually walk round. I don't think you could. There's the zip line. Thing. So there's a whole loop round. There you go. Lizard. Oh, run away. That was quick. It's a really a nice, peaceful walk, very tranquil. I think someone thought I was waving up in there, because somebody just waved back at me. Legends of the Swamp. Is that in there? I've took that left. Don't want to be taking any wrong turns in here. <laughs> Let's see where this leads us to. Alligators. Ooh. There's a big one there. Just sitting. Right there. 
So this is the breeding marsh. And we have oof, one right there. And one. Look at the size of that. What? Wow. And you zip line over that as well. He's just sitting waiting, or he, her, he or she, I don't know. And you. Let's keep moving on today's adventure. That was a big, big alligator. Oh my days. I've got this viewing area. What in the world? This is crazy. Wow. Absolutely crazy. The amount that's here. Hundreds. Hundreds, must be hundreds here. Incredible, absolutely incredible. So many. There is just so many. And that's the ones you can see. I'm guessing this is going to be full, 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 full of alligators. Probably ones in the trees there, probably hiding. That you can't see, or in the water. I don't know. It's just so. Gives me the. Oh my lord, look at them over there. Look at that. Look at that! What are they waiting for? Wow! Okay. <sighs> Let's get out of this bit. I'm getting the kind of heebie-jeebies. Let's see if we can get on the train. Yeah, I'm going to go to 6 
16 and a half feet. So what all? This creature is said to have had a high of sound most of reports of this creature. So I can't wait here. Back in the front of me, the cabin, the train in front of me, or the section of the train in front of me. Something about the Loch Ness Monster and Tony Haggis. You find yourself in Scotland. That was pretty funny. Got a Scottish reference. Haggis is good. Something. Haggis bone bones. This massive rapid is mostly spotted in the African Congo.
He just threw water in his head. So, uh, so, so now what? Uh, I don't Now we're gonna let the alligator catch his breath. They get real tired. What do you do if you ever get bit by an alligator? And I'll start you off by saying the chances of that happening, even here in Florida, is really rare. It doesn't happen often. Now, let's see, it's not all forced or anything, guys. We're just going to let him relax that bottom jaw. It's my bill. We're getting Woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh, one second. Man. It's crazy. People all the time like, hey, man. Why don't you jump a lake and grab those big 12-footers? <laughs> I'm like, hey man, why don't you shut up? <laughs> but you know what? You guys got to go look inside the mouth, right? Yeah. Perfect! Yeah. Alright, nice. Wait, I don't think anyone behind you got to see anything like, on this side. Alright. Come on, you, you guys didn't see? Back. Get your pictures in my game, guys. Oh, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, you got fine. No! Come on, Charles, you look complicated. Come on, sir. Come on now. There we go. All right, now you get your pictures in my game, guys. Such a cool show. Really, really entertaining as well and informative. Yeah, the guys were great to watch. I need some food, though. I need some food. There's a swamp as well, so I'm going to have a look at the walkthrough swamp and then get some food. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't know what's going on here right now. What's this up here? Let's have a look at this first. The swamp walk is currently closed. So we can't go through the swamp walk. So like I said, I got my photo taken with an alligator. I'll try and put that up so you can see that. I was gonna get food, but it's busy just now. Everyone's got to try to get food. So I might get some coffee just now, sit and chill, and then get some food. Oh, that's actually really nice. Does it actually to be like, bad or anything? What's going on here? People are shouting for a zip line. That's what it was. Since you've watched this far, there's a picture of me. I am a professional alligator trainer. Official. So to the right of me, it has a little kind of splash play area for kids. I'm not going to show you that for obvious reasons. I'm going to walk down this way because I haven't done so yet. See what's happening down here. Even though I want to go and play in the splash area to cool down. Whoa, look at the size of that tortoise. Is that, is that a tortoise, a turtle, or a tortoise? That's tortoise, it was, it is massive. What's over here? Bobcat Springs. Never oh, doesn't spring on me. There we go. They put the right idea in the shade. Do we have another big tortoise? Oh dear. Hi, Thin House, if you hadn't a guest already. Oh, I don't like snakes. Oh, look at the size of that. Python. It's looking 
Oh my, what was that? Wizard? Come, come on, come on, come on. It's nodding at me. Hello. <laughs> That was a cool area. On to the next bit. Where do I go now? Where do I go? Where do we go? Food? Maybe. I'm going to go to Perils for some food. And then we can feed alligators afterwards. How's that? I'm going to get the Chester dog. Chester dog. For me. Thank you. Napkins are hanging in the middle for you. Thank you too. Look at this. That is huge. Just need to find somewhere to eat it now. Preferably somewhere nowhere near that bird sanctuary. Better go back this way. Don't even know where to begin with this. Gonna have to eat a hot dog with a knife and fork. <laughs> I just always sweat. I'm sweating, eating. That yeah, was spicy, but oh, so good. I'm not finished yet. This is what I've got left, and I'm struggling. Oh, so good. Really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. That was amazing. My favourite word. Oh, I can't move. I'm gonna struggle to move after eating that. Oh, that was so good. I think that was $15 all in all. That was the hot dog, massive hot dog. The fries and a bottle of water. It's a lot of money, but... That's value for money for me. That's just... Especially like a, a park. Not a theme park, but a park. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Honestly, with, with Gatorland so far, what they have on uh, for offer here and what they do obviously for the environment and obviously alligators but uh, so, so far <coughs> excuse me hay fever kicking in um, yeah it's really really good really really good here honestly it's I could spend two days and I could come back tomorrow if I could, if I, could. I would but I always come back I will come back definitely come back here Oh, that was nice. Let's continue as the train goes by. Let's continue today's adventure. I'm gonna go and feed some alligators. Let's go get some alligator chow, they call it, and go and feed them. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. That sounds fun. Ooh. Ooh, that was nice. Right, here we go. No, oh, don't fight. No fighting. Here we go. for the field. Let's go outside. 
<laughs> one last one. Who's getting left out? Who's getting left out? No one really. Let's go down this side. Yeah, there's a little one there. You're being left out, aren't you? You get the last one. There you go. Come on. There you go. There you go. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like feeding them. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. That might be my day here. Done. It's been brilliant. I'm at a, a so good. This place is so so good. I have seen a t-shirt though, that someone was a Gatorland t-shirt that I won't, I'm gonna get. Spend my money I know but I don't care. Where do you see it? I, I need to get this t-shirt, if I've got it, hopefully. So, let me go and see what I'm going to do, see if there's anything else we can have a look at. If not, I might call it a day. So these little gators are between two to four years old. And there's so many of them in this little area here. And the next one. And there's another one as well. See the sign that over there that says between two and four years old? Just there. This is three to five years old. Look at the size of these ones. They're not between two and five years old. Wow. Very deceiving on the camera to show how big they actually are. Well, that's going to do it for me today at Gatorland. Such an amazing, probably I'm trying to stop saying amazing, fantastic place. Just looking at all these gators, man. Oh, it's a cool place. Well, my day's not over. It is roughly about maybe 3 pm, I think. And I'm going to go to the gift shop. Obviously, I'm going to go and you leave through the gift store, gift shop. I want to see if I have that t shirt. If I have that t shirt, I'm getting that t shirt. I'll show you if I get it. And I'm going to get a lift back to the hotel. And I'm actually, the sun's came out. I'm actually going to go to Volcano Bay, just walk in because the guest entrance is attached to Cabana Bay and go and relax. So if you haven't seen Volcano Bay, I'll show you some of that as well. So let's go back to the hotel and just relax for the rest of the night and check out Volcano Bay. I don't think they have it. I can't find it anywhere. Great selection of t-shirts there. There's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. But I'm not going to buy one for buying sake. Right, there's nothing in here. I'm going to buy. Well, Gatorland, you were fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Can't wait to come back. I have booked my lift on the ride app. And I'm going to head back to the hotel and get into Volcano Bay to chill, relax. Look at the weather. The weather has changed so much. Ah, great day. Great day so far. Back at the hotel, I'm going to jump up to the room quickly, put some swimming shorts on and get into Volcano Bay for about an hour and a half, maybe an hour. But I just want to go and have a look again and just get my Volcano Bay fix. Change quickly, I'm going to switch to the GoPro now, so putting this camera away on the GoPro. I'm not taking 
much with me to go in the park. I'll grab a towel and go as I am. I'm not going to go on all the rides, I won't have time. I just want to go into Hope Foggy and I'll be, have a walk around, maybe jump in the, the pool. But who knows, let's go have a look. If you haven't seen Volcano Bay before, I have had a full day of Volcano Bay in um, my last trip, so you can have a look at that if you want. I'll put that down below, uh, a link to down below in the description box. But let's go before we run out any more time. So let's swap to this. Mm -hmm. I'm using the guest entrance while staying at Cabana Bay. You also get guest entrance at the Aventura Hotel, which is across the road. So let's get in. Hopefully let me in, hopefully it's not a cut off point like the last hour you can't get in or something. So I've made it in. And there is that view. I wanted to come and have a look at. Look at that volcano. I'm not going to go any closer just now because of the sand. I'm going to take a walk down Lazy River. Can't beat a Lazy River. Now I'm not going to go all over the end like I did last time. But I am going to go. Oh, that's cold. Because it isn't as warm. It is still warm as in the weather wise. Look at that. So good to be back here, standing here right now. Oh, it is cold. Cold, 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 cold. So the waves aren't as big as last time. Unless there's still more to come. Well, I'm going to go and lie on a sunbed and just chill to myself for half an hour or 10 minutes even. good. I was really glad to get back and see Volcano Bay. Such a great water park. Even though I wasn't there, I was only there for like an hour. But it felt good to be just chilling there. But I'm going to go back to the room now. Unfortunately that's where I'm going to end the video because tomorrow I've got a very 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 special day. My last full day here. Very special video coming uh, tomorrow so make sure you subscribe for that and look out for that. But anyway, I'm going to get back into the hotel. So, oh, back in the room. I had a quick change there, put a new t-shirt on. But, as I was saying, I'm going to end the video here. I am going to enjoy, it is still early in the day, but I've got to reserve my energy for tomorrow. So I'm going to have a relaxing night to myself tonight. Like just go down to the pool again and relax in the hotel because this this is a, a great hotel Cabana Bay. It's my second time staying here. Highly highly recommend. It's got everything you need and more. So, but yeah, today Gatorland. Wow, I loved it. Loved everything about it. I like the the kind of quirkiness of it. If that's the right word. So, the what I mean by that is is like the the humor, the people, the staff. The staff are amazing. The staff are really friendly, really funny. Uh, yeah, they just you can tell the staff enjoy working there and just they love it. They put everything into it. So well done to Gator Land. Well done to the staff. Um, yeah, really welcoming. Really nice place, really good place. So it's a highly, highly recommend from myself if that means anything. But yeah, the highlight, the highlight. If it's if if it's anything to go by for me, the highlight of today was that food. The size, I <laughs> know the oh the food, 
Mmm, the food was awesome. If I replaced my word amazing with awesome, because I'm in America, it was amazing. The food, the the the, the hot the hot dog was huge uh, and really, really nice. So, what, what else is there to say, really, apart from that? Uh, the lift, you've seen that I got a lift there and back. Now, I will do a separate video. I have done a separate video before in regards to Uber. Oh. So, I'm just trying to get myself comfy. Uber. Uh, nothing wrong with Uber, nothing wrong with Lyft so far. It's, it's both, they've both been great. I, I've used Uber and all my previous visits to Orlando and had no issues. The Lyft app, again, on this trip, first time, no issues. And I will do a separate video like my Uber video that I done, if you haven't seen that video, I can put that in the in the description below. If I forget, then you can search my channel. Basically, the the how how to use using Uber in Orlando and how much. Just to give you an idea, rough idea, that was in April March this year. It gives you an idea of prices comparing, because I don't drive over here. I set a budget aside. Just for that, just for the the Uber or. Um, kind of over inflate it I just put add interest on it put things on it ah. um, so yeah I, I do that so I'll do a separate video just with the total of the lift rides that I've used on this trip to help uh, for yourself budgeting if you're, if you're looking to do that but yeah then I went to Volcano Bay and just chilled tonight that was really it if you want to see more of Volcano Bay I have done a separate video like I've, I've mentioned before so just make sure that you stick around. If it's the first time watching me, thank you for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. If you want to join the community, then click sub subscribe. Uh, easy for me to say. Subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Show your support. And yeah, like, share, comment down below. Anything you want to know. For more live updates for myself, for my travels, I'm on Instagram and Facebook mainly. I don't really use uh, Twitter. I sometimes use uh, TikTok just to put some videos up on TikTok. Yeah, that's really it. So, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, as always. Until tomorrow, video. I'm not going to give too much away. I'll see you all then. Bye-bye.